I started serving tea not because I liked tea. A lot of people will think that, oh, you must have been really into tea to want to start a free tea bus. But the reality is, is I didn't really have very much money and tea was this really easy way and cheap way to get people together. My name is Giuseppe Spadafora and people call me the tea man. I travel the country and I make tea for free for people. I estimate that I've served over 25,000 cups of tea. In those regards, I estimate I've had about 15,000 people come through this bus. I want to live in a culture that's less selfish and more sharing. The tea bus started because I was lonely. I was in Los Angeles, big city, and I didn't have those connections and community and, and things that I had kind of grown up with. I just started going down to Hollywood Boulevard after work and cooking dinner on my tailgate and people would sit with me and eat with me and then that just turned into making tea and making tea for hours. And what I found is when I offered something completely free with no strings attached and it really gives people, the, it gave people the opportunity to have more deep meaningful interactions rather than, rather than coming into the situation with what can I get? It was more of what can I give, what can I share. I like the music. Tea to so many cultures around the world is exactly what I was missing in my life. You know, anywhere in Asia, North Africa, or the Middle East, that's the first thing you do, is you offer someone a free cup of tea. And it's, whether it's a business meeting, or a neighbor coming over to meet you, or, you know, reconnecting with an old friend, whatever it is, a free cup of tea. People just, it's a cup of tea. You invite someone over, people invite you in off the street, whatever. It's used as that way to create a bond instantly. So the number one question that people ask me is, how do you fund this? How do you, how do you continue this lifestyle? How do you make a living? And um, for me, I like to think of making a living as having a relationship with all the things that make me live. At work is having direct relationships with the things you consume. I built my shelter. I gather my firewood for fuel. I harness my electricity from the sun. I gather my fuel from restaurants, from the deep fryers. You know, my fridge is solar powered. I, you know, grow some herbs and foods. I'm always making, you know, sprouts and krauts and brew my own kombucha, all those things. So I build as many direct relationships with the things that I consume as I can. The things that I can't build a relationship with or I don't have access to or I don't have the skills necessary for, I build relationships with people. And those other people have those resources, skills, knowledge, etc. Of course, we live in a world where you have to have money. I have three bills in my life, and I have to have money for those three bills. I live on about one fifth or one sixth of the average American income. I was uh, pretty unconcerned when the Tea Party movement started. I was like, oh, it'll blow over. My website is freeteaparty.org. I found a website that was reteaparty.com and it's like they're redoing the Boston Tea Party, re Tea Party. And at that point I was like, okay, I might need to be mildly concerned. But the truth of the matter is that the tea bus caters to everyone regardless of political belief, regardless of anything. I served tea at Occupy Oakland, which was super awesome. Pulled my bus right onto the plaza where it's all tense and I was the only vehicle. We jumped the curb. Really fun. But and the same token, I would love to bring actual tea to a tea party rally and connect with those people. You know, one of the taglines I've used a lot is reconnecting strangers one cup of tea at a time. And the idea is that, like, even in your local community, people who live there are strangers. And, and we've done that a lot. We've put a lot of walls and barriers and lines and, and, and in place of where there could be interaction um, in cities and towns a lot. There's no way that I can have all those interactions with people and become friends with every person I meet. But the people who come on the bus meet people that oftentimes, I mean, I get emails down the road. I fell in love on the T-Bus. I started a band because of the T-Bus. I don't even know all the things that have happened because of the T-Bus. But I know just by knowing what the T-Bus is and what the T-Bus does um, that those things happen. And yeah, strangers, neighbors become friends. And I realized that the most amazing medicinal quality of tea is the fact that it can cure loneliness. That's the greatest effect that serving tea has had on me, is that it has cured my loneliness.